Uh, cool. Welcome to another one of these solo episodes. You shorten your learning curve by investing in yourself. If you want to fix your life today or have access to my free self improvement guide, all links will be down below. Investing in yourself can be numerous things, right? Gaining knowledge, improving yourself as a whole, right? You know, it might be physical. Uh, gains that you want to do, mental gains, you know, you're understanding concepts better, you're developing character development, even social skills, you are improving yourself. So now when I touch upon you shortening your learning curve to improve yourself, what exactly does that mean? That means investing yourself to a degree where, yeah, you might lose a financial gain at the at this time, or you might lose precious time, but you put it aside to say, this is going to give me returns incremental small returns later on you can do this through many things right and i think it's really important that people understand it i'm gonna kind of use the analogy of gym you see so many people they might have try, tried to train by themselves and once they get that sort of income where they can actually buy a pt they they take off right you've seen probably chunks he must have been trying to lose some weight for some time i'm not too sure can't quote on that but he's got a got a pt a while ago man lost everything just like that because he invested in himself if you have the money to invest in yourself and we can touch upon it's not just about money but if you do it's fundamental that you do because you can gain someone's knowledge you can essentially trade a monetary value for crucial knowledge which will improve and essentially make your life better of course this depends on the right source of person right you don't want to <laughs> sign up to any random pt let's just say and you know they're not qualified you get someone who's established who's been through it who has kind of linking before enjoyed the journey and got to a point where you're not at yet and you know we can talk about ego you put that to the side and you say i want to learn from you how do I become like you? That's essentially what you're saying. I will pay you this money or I will exchange this and service for you. If you tell me how I can become like you. We do it every day with numerous things. If you go into a nine to five door job, you're essentially investing in yourself, right? You're trading your time, which maybe isn't even the best in this day and age. We can speak about that another time, the nine to five rat race. That would be a really good episode coming out soon. But you're trading your time for essentially a monetary value back, plus maybe knowledge. You, you have invested in yourself because you have been committed to attend that job. I remember I had a conversation with Lyndon. Shout out Lyndon, we were in Manchester recently. <laughs> Mention names because you lot know who he is, episode 13. You'll see that soon. He mentioned the importance of courses, and I agree, you know. Like, you are essentially buying a course or maybe like a service online and you're investing in yourself. It's not like you're wasting your money, you're gaining vital knowledge in a certain aspect. Like, you might buy a course on someone's gym or you might buy a course on male female attraction you know i'm making my own course soon this is not a self-promotion i'm just kind of relating to it because i want to give value to people and i believe people who are like-minded like me would invest into themselves and actually would buy it i mean the majority of people aren't of course gonna have money in abundance like that and that's why when you do get to that stage especially when you're kind of financially free on that level you can invest in yourself and save yourself a lot of time but but from a pragmatic approach and i cut the thing just to search if i was using the right word i know i am <laughs> look at me using big words <laughs> come a long way <laughs> investing in yourself essentially just saves you time that's all it is really and i think time is the most important currency you can ever have I remember Gary Vee saying this a few times. I don't watch him religiously or anything like that. I've seen a few clips. Quite inspirational person, but he was just saying he just outsources everything because he wants time. You can never get time back. And when you do invest and you lose something now, but you gain something bigger, you do save a lot of time. Imagine knowing what you, I would say, imagine if I had this brain when I was 16, but it's, it's not realistic. I said to my dad, like, you know, man's doing well financially for himself. Imagine dad, like, if you had your brain at 30, over 20 years earlier, where could you have been? Where would, what was your trajectory like? How much money more, how much more money would you have made, Mr. Money Man? You need to understand that when you do invest in yourself, you do save yourself a lot of time, but you also are learning from the people that have been there and done that, who did essentially trade their time. They have now traded their time for that knowledge, but you can get that knowledge like that by losing something today i think it's such an important thing and i'm not saying for people just to go out and buy bear courses if there's one issue or something you want to address and really master 
a certain craft then the best way to do it isn't to invest in yourself and to understand kind of that you're not really losing anything you're actually gaining something in the long term you're becoming better you're becoming that vision that you want you're becoming that version of yourself that you strive to be and that's that's beautiful it's just you save a lot of time so i would love to hear everyone's opinions about this in the comments below um but i've really understood in the past two or three years the importance of investing in, into yourself you know that can be anything you don't have to exactly pay for things it can be books for example you know you, you spend your time out just to read read the book or even watch youtube videos to educate you're essentially trading your time for knowledge but that's crucial because the more knowledge you can gain at a certain time of your life the more doors it will open especially when you're young then you might hear certain things like me the other day or what's creatine or let me hear that duh, duh, let me get it let me try that has this worked duh, duh, duh. obviously i was suffering from diarrhea for like two days so when you have bowel issues i wouldn't advise taking creatine but you know it's the ideas like that because it only takes one idea one one thing like oh crypto what, what's that and then you might imagine you found bitcoin when you were young bruv imagine when you were young imagine finding bitcoin when you were years ago you heard so many things if you bought one bitcoin you would be now a millionaire like it's crazy but you're putting yourself in that environment to learn that knowledge it's, i say it time and time again it's not about not knowing the answer to a question it's not known as even a question to ask and you gain that by in putting yourself in an environment you may be investing financially on certain things and really learning from people better than you learning from the best and saying what is that what is that asking numerous questions because once you hear a term you just go on the internet you can research you can see how it is and you can see kind of where that takes you you know, you might have found something, okay, cool, crypto, oh, wait, what's this coin, oh, okay, this this coin, oh, this coin linked to this uh, firm, and what the hell, my dad knew this firm, and did it doing, oh, now I can, like, <laughs> you see how it kind of works. I'm more of a mindset of understanding the game before you play it, because once you understand the game and how crucial time is, you will really start to invest in yourself and become better and use your time as efficient and effectively and as you can, and the best thing to do is to invest in yourself. So don't see an investment in yourself as a as a loss now see it as a gain in the long term and see about where that can take you love and guidance to everyone i'll see you in the next episode and uh take care yeah. if you want to fix your life today or have access to my free self-improvement guide all links will be down below